Hey, my name is Julie Feifan Balzer, and I am a painter, a printmaker, and a collage artist. And normally I say welcome to my studio, but today we are in my living room because I want to talk about my handmade tree. So it's a real tree. But almost all of the ornaments, I'd say 90% of them are handmade, some by me, some by friends, but I thought I'd give you a peek at some of them. So each year I make like one or two. I think this was last year's big ornament. A lot of them are made out of paper. Uh, this was gifted to me. This is also paper, but totally amazing, handmade. This, I took some puff paint to a plain ball, um, my son contributed to some of these. There's one little store-bought one. You can see the Superman. So this, I marbled a whole bunch of uh, paper mache ornaments one year. These are, I found these bamboo, uh, they're disposable bamboo cutlery, but I thought it was pretty. So I would burn them with lots of different patterns. Again, my uh, child brings home different things from school and we always put them up on the tree. Right behind his little school ornaments, you can see there's a fabric wrapped ornament. So this is this year's ornament. I made a bunch of these in different sizes and with different papers. You can see it's a sphere. Here it is again, just in different paper. I have various fabric ornaments. This I believe is some sort of like faux leathery thing that I painted many years ago, probably 10 years ago. This is a fabric ornament that a friend of mine made. Totally beautiful. I made, I think two years ago, maybe even three years ago, I made a bunch of these stuffed fabric ornaments, some in the shape there was a Mickey. Here's the letter H. Here's a little house. The fabric on it is screen printed. There was, um, for a while at various member live streams, every December I'd make an ornament. So this was one year making this honeycomb ornament. I did an update of that this year where I did a honeycomb tree. This was another member ornament. It's a little house. And one of the things I like about it is the way that the light shines through it. It just looks really cool. So another one of those paper ornaments, I believe I made two of them. One, two, you only need to make a few ornaments every year and then you just have a tree full of them. More Christmas balls. This guy who's staring at you from the back of the tree, that was actually a project I did for the Marvel YouTube channel making uh, Deadpool ornaments. So I had some samples. Oh, this is the better version of the honeycomb tree because sometimes there's a prototype but it still makes it on the tree. I think hand-painted ornaments are really easy to make, surprisingly easy. I made those years and years ago and they've just lasted, lasted, lasted. But it's also amazing how long the paper ornaments have lasted too. And every year I feel like the tree gets fuller and fuller with more handmade stuff and more people, more friends, more, uh, my son gets older and older and he can make more ornaments. It just, it feels like such a nice tradition. I can't wait till I'm 70 to see what the tree looks like.